When we're looking at a table in the form of a data frame in R, it's, there's no ambiguity about what a missing value is. It's always an NA. However, data are typically stored in files like CSVs, and there isn't any sort of magic indicator that everybody uses by consensus for missing data. CSV spreadsheets just contain text. So the nature of that text could vary depending from, on, from one user to another. In some cases, missing data is just simply indicated by leaving the cell and the spreadsheet empty. That shows up in terms of the raw data in the CSV file as it, what we call an empty string, which basically means a string that has nothing in it. In other cases, there's a special character or set of characters that are used to indicate missing data. A typical one is negative 9999, which is a value that's not likely to ever occur by chance within data. Or you might have another particular string like uh, n slash a that's used to indicate that the data is missing. In the case of coded data sets, a lot of times there will be more than one code for the uh, missing data if there are several reasons why the data are missing. Typically, the code will be chosen so that uh, it's a value that cannot normally occur. So for example, if we're talking age of humans, 999-year-old humans are not very common and unlikely to occur. In this case, a value of 999 could mean that the participant doesn't know what his or her age is. On the other hand, a value of 998 might mean that the participant knew his or her age but was refusing to provide it to the survey taker. I've created an experimental spreadsheet that we can use to test out how the various forms of missing data indicators behave when we try to import them into our studio. So here we can see uh, some imaginary data. Here's an example of someone who doesn't have a middle name. Here's an example of somebody who probably has a last name, but I don't know what it is. Um, and, and then here are some of the different other sorts of ways that people indicate uh, missing data, NAN, which stands for not a number, negative 999, here's an empty cell, here's the, the characters NA written in a cell. What I have done is to upload this CSV file into a GitHub gist. If I click on the raw button here, then I can see the raw data and I can just copy that URL and paste it into my R script in the read CSV function, and I will be able to retrieve the data from this data set. So here we see the example of what I was talking about, empty strings. You just simply have two commas here with nothing in between them. So that's, that's how an empty cell is represented in a CSV file. Let's try reading this data into our studio. If you want to see the raw data, you can hold on the control or option key and then uh, click on that link and it'll jump you directly to the data file. But here I have the raw version of the URL and so all we have to do is read that directly in. Let's go ahead and try first reading it in as a tibble by using the read underscore CSV uh, function. So I'll set the URL and then read it in. If I click on this, I can see the behavior is that the empty cells, like here, and also the cells that had the characters NA in them were turned into uh, missing data by the function when it reads it in. The other missing data indicators like negative 999 and NAN were simply read in as strings. So um, one of the issues with reading this in as a tibble is that the rules for turning uh, data into NAs are fixed. There's not really any way that you can adjust them. Now if I use read.csv 
and read the data into a regular data frame instead of a tibble. Let's see what that does. All right, so this data frame, we can see that um, when it was an NA here and here, it got read it in as an NA, but there's a difference in behavior for empty cells. If the column is numeric, it reads it in as an NA, but if it's a string, it reads it in as an empty string. So that's a bit odd. And we can actually control what is read in in the uh, read.csv function by adding the argument na.strings and then listing as a constructed vector all of the different character strings that we would like to have considered to be missing data. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this in and just let it write over my earlier value of data frame. So if I look at data frame now, I see that all of the things that I put in as missing data indicators, all the ones that I put in my list here have been changed to NAs. Um, one of the things that uh, I mentioned that we won't go into very deeply is that the read.csv file reads strings in normally as factors, which is something we are not going to get into until a later lesson. But you can change this behavior and force the read.csv to read everything in as a character string uh, by using column classes or call, the call classes argument and setting it equal to character. So it says basically every column should be a class uh, of, could, should contain uh, the class of character. So if we run this, and take a look at the data frame again. We can see that um, the behavior is a little bit different. So for the places where I specifically said NA, it read them in as NA, but otherwise for both the numeric and for the string columns, it just read them in as empty strings. This is all a little bit confusing uh, the main thing that you need to just be careful about is to, to know what kind of missing data indicators are in the data that you're trying to read in from a CSV. And then you should always check after the import of the data, after the data are read in, that they are read in in the way that you expect them to be. If they're not, then you need to try to control it either by specifying the, in, the missing data indicators or uh, doing some kind of data cleaning on your data before you read it in or data cleaning after you read it in. But it's always very important to consider whether the data is being read in the way that you think it is with reference to the missing data. This slide summarizes what we learned about how uh, missing data are read in. So for tibbles, read CSV has a fixed set of rules. NAs and empty strings always get read in as NAs. That is, strings which are NA get read in as NA objects. For read.csv, the default rule is that for number columns, the string NA and empty cells are read in as NA, but for character columns, only the NA string is read as NA. For read.csv, we can use the na.strings argument to determine exactly what we want to set the missing data values to be. Or we could suppress all conversions except for the string na by using the argument call classes equals character.